Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your Adobe Creative Cloud apps. Now Adobe just released a massive new update to their Adobe Creative Cloud. Everything got updated. Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, After Effects. They added some new stuff, new features. So there are way too many updates and new things for me to talk about, but I'm really excited that Adobe Character Animator is out of beta and now part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Lightroom got a whole new overhaul. So there's now this kind of hybrid version in the cloud and the old traditional Lightroom. Excited to play around with that. Illustrator got a whole bunch of new features. The puppet work tool is now available in Illustrator. Photoshop got a whole bunch of new things. I'm really excited that Photoshop added all new brushes by Kyle Webster. If you don't know Kyle Webster's brushes, they are the best. He's an amazing artist. He's now part of the Adobe Photoshop team. So all of his brushes are gonna be integrated in Photoshop. I'm telling you, check out his brushes in Photoshop, now included. Awesome. So what else? Adobe Audition CC got updates. After Effects, Premiere, InDesign, the mobile apps got update. Dimension is a new 3D app that used to be Project Felix. That looks pretty awesome. XD is a good prototyping app that made it in from beta. I'm gonna be making tutorials on a lot of these features. So if there's anything that you want me to teach specifically in Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, Audition, Premiere, After Effects, please leave me a message below. I'm gonna be cherry picking things that I think are cool and that will help you. But if there's something specifically you want me to teach in any of these Adobe products, please let me know. And now I'm just gonna show you how to update all of your Adobe Creative Cloud apps so you can start taking advantage of all these cool new features today. To update your Adobe Creative Cloud products on your computer, all you need to do is open up the Creative Cloud app. For Mac users, there is a shortcut up in the menu bar. So just look for the Adobe Creative Cloud icon up there. If you don't see it, it will be in your applications folder. So just go ahead and look for Creative Cloud and open it that way. Then it should show up in your menu bar. So what we're looking for right here across the top is the second one, apps. This is all the apps available in the Adobe Creative Cloud. This is pretty self-explanatory, but let me just explain a few things here. If you ever open this and it says update, that means that there is currently an update available for this program that you have installed on your machine. If it says install, then that app is not currently on the computer. Simply click on the install button when you're ready to install. If it just says launch or open, that means that you have it installed or that you do have access to it, but there is no update available. And this is just a way to launch it from this program. If you click on this little arrow over here, you get some more added features. This is really great because there's some great tutorials in here, or you can learn more about what that program is. If you just want to find out what's new when there's a new update, all you do is click this and it'll go take you to the Adobe page. It'll show you what the new features are. So that is all you need to do. So you can update these one by one if you don't want to update them all at the same time or today what we're going to do is just click this one update all and it's just going to go through and one by one you get the little progress bar it says you're updating the latest version of our app so there's a few little options here if you want to remove older versions which is what i always do i also like to import the previous settings and preferences so your stuff doesn't get all your customizations don't get lost so i keep those check i hit update and you can see once it starts installing you'll see the little progress bar it's going to tell you which other ones it's going to install if you ever wanna stop it, you can always click the little X next to it. So pretty easy to install the updates. Just click on the Adobe Creative Cloud icon, go to the apps tab, then click on the updates for any, or just click the update all to do it all at the same time. That is your quick tip. My name is Mike, cheers.